So there we are back to our code. We can just say um, PHP artisan uh, migrate. So we're going to create a, a, a joint table. When you're creating a joint table in Laravel, um, it's going to be singular and you make sure that the, the two tables you're joining has to be the singular one, the, the, it has to be in alphabetical order. So R comes with before U. So that's why it's role user instead of user roles. Uh, actually, it's not role. We are, we are working with project. Project. So P comes before U. All right. And uh, unlike all our other tables that end in plural, this guy needs to be singular for Laravel to be able to recognize it. So like I told you, we want to be able to have a table that contains which project uh, and which user is connected to which project. All right. So because as we work on, we need a user to be connected to project one, project three, project seven, like that. So we need a, a table that will keep record of all these things. So now we have this, we are going to hit on the create. And once the migration is created, we will um, quickly add in the tables, the tables that are needed, the fields that are needed. Now, one of the fields that is needed is the project ID, because this table is basically keep, keeping a record of which user belongs to which project. So it will take care of a project ID, then it will take care of the user ID. So we need to know um, which user belongs to which project. All right. So um, we mistakenly put this as plural. So I'm going to just rename it. Rename. Renaming it will give me um, singular project. So when you open it, project user create project user table okay so this sorts a problem what we're gonna do is um, the table name is project user the it has the user ID so we're gonna say table um, string integer integer the integer contains the project ID and is unsigned And then it contains the user ID too, which is also unsigned. And then we're going to tell it that these two IDs point to a specific table in our database. So the user ID points to the user's table, the project ID points to the project's table. And like that, we can see that things are becoming much, much easier and clearer. So we have the project table for the project ID on top of this place actually points to the project's table. So this way Laravel knows which uh, tables you're talking about, all right? And I'm going to make sure that this is singular. That was a mistake I made. All right, so every other thing has been sorted out here. What I will do is to just one more. Another quick thing we can do is to, to assign, uh, to, to make it possible for users to be able to assign to tasks. So you have one big project that you're working on and it's broken into modules. We want people to be able to assign to such tasks or modules. All right. So what we're going to do is to quickly right here, um, do the same thing we just did above. So, but this time it's going to be task. And again, T comes before you. So we are good to go. So what I'll just do is to copy what I have here in uh, projects copy it and move over to the task new task migration that has been created and then i'll add it simply and it solves our problem so this actually points to task and this points to task and this points to tasks so this way we have uh, done a lot of things and given ourselves uh, the base to be able to work go further and do more magic as we go all right so what we now do just before we round up this is to try and run the migration itself because all we've been doing is creating the migration we need to run it so that it will create the the, the tables on our database so let us take one quick look at our database just to recap on what exists there so if we come to our database we will see that it's just users and then the migrations table that are there so if we browse what's on the migrations table as you can see it's empty all right, so what we're going to do is to run the migration. And remember, we're going to keep an eye on our users column to know whether it updates. If it doesn't update, then we have to create a new migration for it. 
All right, so we have this. We're going to keep an eye on this, whether it's updates with the new things that we added to it. All right. Um, uh, one more thing we need to check just to make sure that everything works well. Uh, are there some nullable roles that we need to? Mm, okay, everything appears cool. So this is our time to shine. So um, the, the, the command is php artisan migrate. So if we hit enter and um, it will try and create all those tables to in our database. So far we have at least one error and the error base table of view already exists. Uh, create table. Okay, actually um, it's telling us that this table already exists. What we are going to do to resolve it is the reason we have this error is that the, our users table already exists. We created it when we first ran the PHP artisan make auth, when we created our user login and registration. This is the users table. And if you look right here, um, right here uh, in the code for the users table, this is the code that's supposed to create the users table. So it's trying to run this code and it's telling us that these users already exist. So what we can do is to check so what I have here is saying if this table does not exist then execute it if not just forget about it all right so there are many ways to resolve that problem one other way to resolve it is to actually go to a database and delete this table and then run our migration again all right so but here uh, uh, a short form is just to test whether this table exists if it doesn't then we will create it if not it will just skip so let's try and run our migration again and see if everything will run smoothly. PHP artisan migrate, then we'll fold our arms and watch to see if it will work. So uh, we've had another error which says the specify key was too long. This happens when you're using a little older version of MySQL or MariaDB. So we'll, uh, we'll resolve it if by going to the app service provider and editing Laravel just a little. All right, so I'm making sure that you see all these errors so that if you happen to run into any of them, you will know exactly how to fix them. To fix that, what you have to do is to make sure that you just go to um, the app controller, app folder, then your providers, then the app service provider. There is a boot function right here. So you will paste this code inside the boot function and send the default string length to 191. Then we're going to run this code again. Uh, but uh, what I would suggest is that we just go and uh, delete what we everything that is already on our database. Delete everything. We're going to highlight and um, drop all tables. Check all we selected. We're going to drop, drop everything. So we have a clean database. Now we have a clean database. What we can do is to go and run PHP artisan migrate and then we wait okay so um, this is not found which means we need to add something else let me show you we didn't um, import this uh, class so if we go to the app service provider at the top of the class we're supposed to import the schema class the facade schema class all right and um, of course just one more time as you can see finally our migration uh, has been created successfully all our migration tables all right so i believe by this time if you have any problem running your migration you'll figure that out so in the next video i'm just going to cut out this particular error because it's an error that many people normally face i'll cut out the error and just make a very short video of it you can skip the next video if uh, you want all right so see you in the next video